India as a vast nation grappling with a worsening COVID-19 crisis as many states appeal for additional supplies of oxygen and treatment drugs. It is the world's second most infected nation with almost 14.8 million cases among a population of 1.3 billion people. India's total COVID-19 caseload soared past 20 million on Tuesday, May 4, according to official data, as the pandemic continued to wreak havoc on the country's hospitals. This has overwhelmed India's chronically underfunded healthcare system, leading to dire shortages of hospital beds, vaccines and oxygen, with patients dying outside packed clinics in New Delhi and other densely populated states in India. In the past 24 hours alone, India added another 357,229 cases, taking the total to 20.3 million, according to the health ministry. The death toll rose from 3,449 to 222,408, but many experts suspect the true number to be much higher. My heart breaks, my heart cries, when I see poor people mourning the death of their 5-year and 10-year-old children. When I see young brides losing their husbands, it breaks my heart and our eyes shed tears and we wonder what is happening in them. We had never thought that we would see such horrible scenes. We are searching oxygen all over India, all over Delhi, to Chandigarh, Ludhiana, Haridwar, Jaipur, and all our nearby cities from 200, 400 kilometers far. We are catching and, uh, uh, oxygen to give, uh, give this. All our vehicles are on the roads who are searching the oxygen. An Indian auto rickshaw driver Javed Khan who had witnessed the tragedy of people suffering during the COVID-19 pandemic came up with a brilliant idea to convert his rickshaw into a small ambulance, starting his journey in the hope of saving lives. I made an ambulance auto because I saw that in Bhopal and other cities as well, people were carrying their sick mother or father on their shoulders. Sometimes someone is carrying an oxygen cylinder alongside. I see young people struggling without oxygen, even when they call ambulances. The ambulances are charging 5,000 rupees to 10,000 rupees which are 70 to 140 Singh dollars. How will the poor person be able to afford it? Especially during this pandemic when most people don't have an income? A critically ill patient cannot be brought to the hospital without oxygen support. So, I thought, why not turn my three-wheeler into an ambulance? It's not as spacious as an ambulance, but it can surely save lives. I call a doctor and ask about how to set the oxygen levels according to the patient. I have an oximeter to check the patient's oxygen level as well. We set the oxygen according to the doctor's advice and take the patient to the hospital. I sold my wife's jewelry to buy all the equipment. A donor donated the oxygen cylinder, another donor gave the oximeter and I drive it around. Many people have come forward to help me with donations and have requested for me to continue driving around until the pandemic is over. It is thanks to the help of so many people that I am able to do this. I couldn't have done this on my own. The doctor taught Mr. Khan how to use the cylinder and oximeter to safely supply the life-saving gas to patients as he drove them to a hospital. This is brought to you by the Independent Singapore. Watch this channel for more news and documentaries.